cruising Facebook one night and we saw this really cool work of art that was on Facebook. And I think we both decided we both wanted this and uh, it was offered up by the Stinson family. And um, I think we were all kind of fighting for it. So they had a really cool idea to present this. Everyone knows that Queen Anne's County has gone purple and it's gonna to continue to go purple so that we can educate the community on substance abuse and opioid awareness. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, this is a beautiful piece of art. And uh, tell us how now going from your home to our hands. <laughs> well, I came home one day and my wife had made this sign. She started this hobby five, six years ago. It's kind of turned into a family business. It's called I Would Again, where we repurpose reclaimed materials and hand paint on them. And uh, I asked her what her intent was with the sign. She said she wasn't quite sure, but wanted to offer it out there somehow to someone who could display it and use it. And uh, my son, who works for the Sheriff's Department, uh, said that he wanted to offer it up to Gary, so I tagged him in the posting on Facebook. And that's when we had this little uh, competition over who was going to get it. And uh, Gary uh, said, you know, they really want it here and it would be the perfect location, so he wanted to have us present it to you. Uh, and then we found out where you were displaying it. You said that maybe something a little bigger might be better. And, and uh, Morris and I decided that we were going to make a larger one for you and allow Berkeley to go ahead and give this to his boss. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's awesome. <laughs> yes, thank you very much for making this larger piece for us. We appreciate Absolutely. your support and our support for Queen Anne's County Goes Purple. Definitely, it's a good cause. The name of the business is I Would Again, and we make custom and stock wooden signs. What kind of inspired you to get into doing a business like that? So I was in an antique store one day, and I found this rickety, chippy, nasty, barely holding it together, <laughs> old window sash. And it was the coolest thing. I, and I was thinking, there's got to be something that I could do with this thing. So I bought it, and I, came, I brought it home and started looking up online ideas with what you can do with old wooden window sashes and it eventually became a chalkboard and I would just kind of... Took over the house. Yeah, well that too, but it kind of morphed and blossomed from there into what it is today. We do have a Facebook page, um, so a good bit is sold online. We also do some craft shows throughout the year, primarily the Christmas season, but kind of sprinkled throughout the year as well. But yeah, the majority of it I'd say is, is on the Facebook page. Thanks a lot, you guys. Sure. Thank you.